Greetings, I'm Rob Chaffers. And I'm Gandhi Rose. And we're here today to prove to Captain Lee that the Flying V is one of the best and most innovative guitar shapes you'll ever find. Well, I'm yet to be, uh, no, I, you know, I'm open-minded. Hey, I'm open-minded. He's open-minded, but he does hate Vs. <laughs> I've got a flying V. By whom? It's a King V by Jacques Son. By Jacques Son. So Jacques Son. It doesn't have to be from that new JS32T range that we were talking about earlier, would it? You mean the crafted with quality in China by Jackson? Maybe I do. Yes, you do. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, we're gonna, we, we, we focus on a couple of the new, very, very affordable Jacksons uh, in this month's videos. JS32 uh, comes in all the kind of the, the spiky shapes that you might be familiar with. So if you like the King V, the Rhodes, uh, the Warrior and the other one, which I forget, but anyway, Dan will do something on the uh, screen now to tell you. Um, these are basically a, a, a basswood body, regular scale length, you know, 25 and a half inch scale length, um, come in 24 selection. frets. 24 frets, yeah. Uh, all got the same kind of Jackson high output pickups on them, come in a selection of colors, predominantly either whites and blacks. I did like actually this one in white is cool because you've got the black bevels on it. You can get them with hardtails like these or trem systems if you want, Floyd trem systems. Um, one of the features that I did notice in the spec that, that's pretty cool given that the price on these is insanely cheap is it's a compound radius fretboard. So it goes from, you know, flatter than a strap down here but still a 12 inch radius, so, you know, reasonably comfy for chords, to up to a 16 inch radius up here. Um, so, you know, really flat. For, for kind of, you know, low action and shredding kind of stuff. Yeah. These are V's. Let's do it. The pros and cons with the shape, and of course the pros and cons of making a really affordable guitar from China. So to start with, I think a V is great because it wedges between your legs in a classical position, and you can do all your nice wicked ergonomic shreddery that Captain's a big fan of. Yeah. Um, and it feels comfortable to me. And when I stand up, the same thing occurs: that the wing sticks in the leg. I tend to put the strap on top and it prevents the neck from diving unless you've got a really good leather strap that sticks to your shoulder. And I find that really comfortable, especially with the more traditional Gibson style V. Yeah, I, I must admit, I find it, uh, I think these are designed as more of a visual statement rather than for their sort of ergonomic design. I mean, if I stand up now, sorry if I disappear off the top of the thing, I guess it's kind of... Looks badass. It looks amazing. That's pretty much how Thumbs you up for Captain with a V. But yeah, you've got to also be realistic as well that unless you um, take uber stupid care of these things, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll turn around and someone will go, hey, hey, leave it, and you'll turn around and smack this into a door frame or something. So all the, all the sort of the pointy bits on your guitar get or chipped take an, up pretty take quickly. take an eye out. They might take an so eye out. So it's basically, it's olives or marmite, isn't it? It's like, it's, you know, you love it or you hate it. It's yeah, I like olives and marmite, but still don't like these. So I've never tried olives and marmite before, though. Have you never tried? That sounds really bad. Mm, molives. Molives. <laughs> <laughs> had a soft spot for the V shape as a lot of people here will know these pickups are pretty good man do you know what we've been saying we've got a selection of amps so I'm using a pretty sort of top of the range Marshall JVM uh, Chappers is using a very affordable uh, Blackstar HT5 and these pickups are they're warm woody sounding not too high output yeah so so here's the you know I've got a sort of a what am I on OD1 aren't I which is a sort of a fairly gainy kind of sound on the Marshall neck pickup <laughs> Loads of bass in, good bass in. Uh, bridge pickup. Or both together. 
together. <laughs> Play that new uh, awesome scale I showed you. I'll do it right now. Do it right now. <laughs> that was amazingly, <laughs> you've really come on as a metal player. Yeah, you must feel the influence of sixth and uh, periphery in yeah. your uh, in your listening. And my sugar yes. in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give you some of my tones. So I've got the more affordable setup of the Blackstar HT5 going through this Orania 2x12 cab, and I'm using this awesomely Chinese crafted flying V from Jackson. And I'm going to give you some different kinds of tones because I'm going to drop tune. I like the shark pin in my own Jacksons. That does look cool. That's because you're obsessed with sharks. I am obsessed with sharks. <laughs> you yeah. genuinely is obsessed with sharks, aren't <laughs> you? You're diving and being eaten by them. So I've got the more affordable setup with the Black Star HT5, the Orange Tube 12. And how much does this guitar cost, Lee? £200. Or just over £209. £100 of Oriental Crafted Jackson Win. And I'm tuned to drop D in standard, and this is how my guitar sounds. <laughs> Shred guitar. I mean, you can play great lead on it pretty easily. Do it because it fe the net the fretboard has a nice feel to it. It's mm. not really that thin wizard Ibanez type of feel, and it does flatten out down here, which is nice. So you can do all the legato y slippery type stuff, or it's got that chunky feel down here for the. <laughs> Pinchies down there. That's for, quite a natural an, sound. An inexpensive guitar. I think tonally these are some of the best sounding guitars. I mean, the, the, there's really nothing wrong. <laughs> For the money, these are pretty good. I'm going to give them a mark out of 10 now. You're going to give it a mark out of 10? Yeah. What sort of a mark? I'm going to give it a mark out of 10. I'm going to give it two marks. I'm going to give it a skid mark. I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say that I can do this because this is made of cheap materials. Hang on. Uh, yeah, you can. You it's, couldn't do that if that was like mahogany or something. No, you? or Not something. Like guns of You couldn't steel. do that if it was made of good materials. <laughs> and I'm going to say, if you've only got a couple of hundred quid for a flying vinyl metal band and you want to play and you want something slightly affordable, I'm going to say this is. 8.8. Wow! Yeah. If you've only got that budget, if you've I got agree. if you've got like 500 quid, you'd go up a step, wouldn't you? I, I, I would I would say that you'd go up a step to something yeah. else, and I'd say that this is a resounding you'd buy six. You'd buy something better, ten. like a Strat or a Les Paul. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but if you like flying V's, if I, you I like flying nice. V's and you had 500 pounds to spend, I'd book myself in for a course of therapy with a good. <laughs> Psychiatric. You're going to get so much metal <laughs> hatred. But you're a fan of Nile. Whatever happens. Yeah, Nile. Honestly, I, I. Although it has. What to be is the right it about occasion. the music that does it for you? It's 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 when I need when I've had a really stressful day at work. I used to come home, put my headphones on, light a candle, aromatherapy, that sort of thing. I just need something to bring me down. Then I I find Nile or you know one of those bands where where the, the singer just basically shouts at the top of his voice, and and it has to have double bass drum that just goes. <laughs> 
it the whole time while someone yeah. just shouts and, loudly. And eternal molestation and flame for, for years, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's well, there's an insight into mean. Captain's mm. musical taste that might surprise a few people. Um, <laughs> All jesting aside, these are good guitars. <laughs> I have to say, you know, you, you, I, I get, I totally, totally get why people will not, you know, want to have a guitar that, you know, isn't a retro classic looking guitar. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the same reason why people choose to dress in certain ways or, you know, what, or listen to certain music, or drive certain cars or bikes, or, you know, and I am not um, judgmental at all. Everything is cool. So I, I, I totally get these. And if, I, and if I put my kind of, if I put the fact that I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't uh, own, I wouldn't choose to buy a guitar that's this shape and I just stuck to the objective stuff, like does it sound good? Does yeah. it play good? Is it good value? Oh, they definitely money? sound great. You know, um, have they done a good job on, on the sort of the build? Then I would mark this really highly. It's a very cool guitar. That's a good point to make actually, is that in terms of the build and, and sort of the fact that they're cheap guitars, because yeah. they are cheap guitars, and I'm using the word cheap rather than affordable because I think it's more honest, but basically that affordability only gives you the sort of slightly, sometimes not quite a great feel or not the perfect playability, but you get a great sound. I would say, if I took the neck off of this, the neck off of this guitar, I'd set fire to it. No, no, no. I, I would. I was just saying. I don't think the neck would be out of place on a guitar that was four or five hundred pounds. Yes. Uh, I think the body itself, you can tell, is made from a, an affordable timber, and um, you know the, the the finish is perhaps not as tidy as you'd hope on a slightly more expensive guitar. <laughs> Marks out of ten for that particular guitar, Lee. Um, if you were into metal and like, if I was these, into metal and I took the price into account, yeah, I'd be in the eights again. I'm slightly conscious of the fact that every guitar we ever video, we give a score of eight point something. I don't. You have? No, no I gave, gave I, a five. The yeah, other day. that's true. I gave a five. So I'm going to go with. Um, Just be honest. It's you. It's a personal thing. It's got shark inlays. You like sharks? Oh yeah, that's true. Just for the shark inlays, and uh, I'm going to go with. 7.9. You heard it first. Well, I've been Rob. And I've been Gandy Rhodes. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>